And this process is what I call enfoldment, that the mathematics itself suggests a movement in which everything, in which any particular element of space may have a field which unfolds into the whole, and, and, and the whole folds and enfolds into it. So you have this movement, and uh, I call this the implicate or enfolded order, which unfolds into the explicate order where everything is separate. Now, the implicate order, everything is internally related to everything. Everything contains everything, right? So everybody has ex many experiences of this implicate order. The most obvious one is ordinary consciousness, where consciousness enfolds everything that you know or see, right? And, and now it doesn't merely enfold the universe, but also you act according to that content. So therefore, you're, you are internally related to the whole in the sense you act according to your consciousness of the whole. So you're not acting me mechanistically in the sense of being pushed and pulled by objects in the surroundings, <laughs> but rather according to your consciousness of them, you act. So if you're not conscious of them, you cannot act intelligently toward them. But the uh, uh, So the consciousness is really our most immediate uh, experience of, of this implicate order. <laughs> You may think of nets of consciousness that are finer and finer, or we may think of capturing finer and finer aspects of the implicate order. Right? I think there's an, an intelligence that's, a, that's an implicit there, you see, to say that a kind of intelligence unfolds. Right? The source of intelligence is not necessarily in the brain, you see, the ultimate source, but much more enfolded into the whole. Right? 